I'm Tiffany A. Henyer of Dalton, Illinois. In this video, we'll look at how to pronounce Chicago and Illinois. Il -i -noi. Illinois. Hey there, besties. We got to talk. Here are some of the highlights from last night's ish show from the June 3rd Dalton board trustee meeting, however you want to call it. It was an ish show. It was an ish show with this biatch right here. Oh, she pissed me off so bad. Shout out to those that were there. So rude, so condescending, so illiterate, so not accepting accountability, so mean to, to the elderly, to the senior citizens, the people that she allegedly supposedly cares the most about. Y'all are being fooled. You're being played in front of your daggone faces. And I'm specifically talking to those in Dalton, specifically the seniors that still support this woman. All those people that go to those events, quote unquote, that she gives to you, I don't believe I see many of y'all in there. I don't believe I see many of y'all in there. Now, mind you, she tried to block you by having the place blocked off, which probably is illegal. You couldn't even get to the daggone handicapped parking spaces. Is this what you think is good for you? Yeah, I'm still riled up from last damn night. I can't even believe it. The way that she treats these daggone senior citizens, the whole daggone city, but definitely the senior citizens. If y'all don't see it after this mess, then I don't know what to tell you. But here's some of the highlights from what is the ish show that Tiffany Hinyard runs down there in damn Dalton. It wasn't a motion to adjourn. It wasn't a motion to adjourn. What do you mean no? What do you mean no? Push that button. Turn it on. Lacey had to wobble his way on down there to admonish his deputy or cheat or whatever the hell it is, his younger oppressor, to tell him not to help her with the daggone microphone. Like she couldn't turn on that daggone microphone. This is the most important thing that you could find to do last night, Lacey, is to run down there to make sure that the microphone wasn't turned on. Now, I do have to give Dalton credit for the microphones working better than they do over there at Thornton Township. You see that Big Tiff had her gold microphone on display and she was all made up like she usually is. She does that also because she knows there's going to be media here. So with all the complaints about the media, she sure does make sure she's dressed up for this meeting, don't she? So we have a close up here of the oppressor oppressing. Here comes uh, wobbly ass Lacey yet again. You down here to deal with the elderly senior citizens because she probably voiced an opinion that you didn't like. She maybe she did disrupt. I'm not I'm not doubtful that at all. But no one had he didn't have anything to say when Tiffany was running off at the mouth with her soliloquy of the same speech that she gets every single time. She might as well put that on record and sell it because it's the same crap over and over and over again. These people is tired of it and it's about damn time. Stand up to these people. How are you going to sit up here and try and threaten them? All this daggone police presence. Not that I don't think that they need it. They definitely do. And they definitely need that daggone 
security detector thingy, weapon detector thingy, because today it got out of damn control and it was unnecessary, of course, but you don't acknowledge the fact that Big Tiff agitates all of this with her tone and her condescending attitude. We just going to go ahead and blame it on the residents. I told you, I, I said they need to come in here with a plan because Tiff don't care and they need to not get riled up from that because that is what it is regardless of I love you and there's nothing you can do about it. Okay, so I did hear Jason House say there was a motion to suspend the rules. He said that, and Brittany quickly said she seconded it. So typically, outsiders, I'm assuming like Lightfoot, because she's not a resident, aren't allowed to come in and speak, kind of, because we know Jedediah speaks. But she knows who Lori Lightfoot is like everyone else does. She quickly tried to act like I guess she didn't hear him, even though he clearly yelled out, motion to suspend the rules, and Brittany quickly said she seconded it. But Big Tiff didn't want Lori to speak. Lacey ran on down there. Chaos ensued. Not that chaos wasn't already going on. You hear the residents talking about let her speak, let her speak, because these are the people that give you the job, public servant, and that's what they wanted, and they motioned to, to suspend the rules, but Big Tiff didn't want the attention off of her at the end of the day, in my opinion. Yeah. Yeah. We have not rested while this procedural matter is in memo, and we're not going to allow anyone to stop us and instruct our ability to get to the fact that we're going to do it. And we will continue working. Even though they've turned the mics off, we will continue working on behalf of the residents of Dalton, and we will give you the facts that you deserve. So 
when the end ended the way that it did and there was about to be a brawl, we shall call it a fight, whatever you want to call it. It's because of this man walking over who's always here talking to that man in yellow. You see that? The man in yellow and Heavy D's younger brother. So here's the question. Heavy D's younger, bigger brother, Keith Price, is sitting behind the counter there. If you're not an employee, why are you back there? Why is he? Why is his big ass back there and the man in yellow that was about to come out and fight that older man? That's why he was coming out and the police told him, no, stay your ass on back there. So I want to know from anybody that knows, first of all, who the man in yellow is. We already know who Biggie is, and we need to know what the hell was said that caused that older man to come over there and that man in yellow that was about to come from behind the counter. Are they allowed to be behind the counter there? Should be a space where only employees should be, you would think. And why is it that Heavy D can't be out there? Heavy D's younger brother can't be out there standing up. We already know that he technically can't, but he gets to have a seat. He gets to get in here. He gets to be able to be behind the damn counter. That's where the, the work is done. Nobody should be back there if you don't work back there. And these are not hours for work, but there's like three people back here. Three people back here. Who are they? Residents. Who are these people besides Keith Price? Who is the dude in yellow specifically? If anybody knows what this actually, what actually was said, what the dude in yellow said, and what is it that may, or that, um, elder man, I can't think of his name, what it is that was said, what got him all riled up because it looks like it specifically came from this dude in yellow. Don't, don't miss the dude in peach over there either. Who are those people and why are they back there? It looks inappropriate to me. And the odds are, the odds are allegedly that they are for big tiff. And that's why they back there inappropriately. While you got people outside who actually need to get in here and speak as a resident who got to stand outside and can't get in. Like this is a damn Chris Brown concert. This is absolutely crazy and ridiculous. This dude in black here was about to lay somebody's ass out too. This freaking uh, bi uh, big thing right here is over here instigating clearly and allegedly probably the dude in yellow. Child, this is a mess, but this is what she wants. And then she'll try to act like she got a smear campaign. Girl, if you don't go to hell, if she ain't never going to get this shit together. Never, ever, ever. Does she not realize all this crap is being recorded? So you can lie all you want to, Big Tiff. We can see with our own damn eyes. Step up. 
Big Tiff, this is your legacy. This is what you're leaving behind. This is what you created. This is what you're creating. You can say whatever the heck it is that you want, but you wanted to be in charge, boo. You are in charge and all these results are yours. Y'all, we got to talk about this later, but for now, please make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you comment, share the video. I see you all in the next one. Because y'all got false narratives out there and y'all should be ashamed of y'all stuff. Y'all black. Y'all are black. And y'all sitting up here beating and attacking on a black woman that's in power. You going to jail. You going, going to jail. jail, Gatto. Unass that seat. Unass that seat. Unass that seat. To express my deepest gratitude to Tiffany Henyer and her team for their commendable efforts to better our community. Let's come here. Shut your stupid ass up. Say that, folks. Let me tell you. Dumb ass, say it.